Your furry friend here took offence at me getting near his food. He spat at me. Look. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. All right, so uh, apparently my mic was not even on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Boy oh, Ghost TG. We're continuing on with some uh, oh, you know, Dragon Age Origins. Uh, I don't know how I forget to turn on my mic. I have the, I have the button clicked to mute, right? All right, so we continue on. Oh, I gotta choose my party. Uh, well, I'm making. Indeed, indeed. And between these three. Yes. All right, where are we headed? Now we can go ahead back to Lothring and uh, hand in that mission. The bandit should be dead around here, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. to understand that the canari have their own mages as well is this blessed are the peacekeepers nice all right all right like up the missions uh i want to switch over to her open up her poison toxin extract and flask death root and flask i don't have any flasks and she can make healing. Alright. Okay, what are these missions I just picked up? North of Lothering, okay. Disappear. Oh, my game just crashed. So you can get off my back. All in Templar. I did not find this earlier. I'll be back. I'm gonna go back this way real quick. Oh, what? I can't enter the wilds from here? Oh, wait, 
way the corpse is over here. Okay. I'm looking for a young brown haired woman, it seems. Maybe you can talk to some knights. I'm just here to keep watch. Please, we you drove off to get away from the house. Don't suppose you're looking to buy all right actually can I put the boots on you buddy okay what's your axe do six damage can give me something else five damage uh nothing that much better honestly yeah Good to see you again. Thank you, Sir Baron. No. Oh, what the hell's that? Hey, what do you got? Ah, it is good to see you. Now then, what can I do for you? Oh shit! What? <laughs> That's who Sir Henrik you. is. <laughs> and a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. It's okay, I don't remember one. I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. That's Sir Henrik, okay. I was wondering... I felt like I heard the name before, I just couldn't place it. I want to save as often as I can. I'm sorry guys. I have to. You guys know. Game crashed on me like quite a few- not quite a few, it crashed twice on me. But there's like no quick saves in this game. I am understand. I am not fond of sharing. You should know this. I haven't asked to borrow anything of yours. Nor would I lend it if asked. You would be best to desist and find your own. Find my own what? <sighs> this facade of yours is uncontrollable. Let's just kill it in two blows. If the competition you wish, a competition you shall have. You wild folks are very far to be Is everyone going to come with me? She working. Why are there so many wolves? Yeah, there's a lot of wolves. Not a single one can be picked up, I think. Uh, we're saving this right here right now. My game did not crash this time, thank God. Uh, I'm gonna open up our inventory real quick. 200 great sword. Okay. Then I want you to carry a great sword, please. I wanted you to have this entire time. All right. Now you have some actual armor on. Uh, 
All right, perfect. Oh, this was the woman's body that I need to find. Okay, and we just need to find the bear. Just this way. There's also spiders over here you gotta be careful about. I'm not fighting those spiders, by the way. Not worth the effort. Alright, let's head back to town. Um, also, I, I I installed a LAA patch of some sort. Um, it's kind of like a patch that allows the game to use more memory or something like that without crashing. I don't know, something like that. Um, and now the game seems to be working well. I used to crash just going after th over this bridge or getting close to the enemies over there, so... Now we seem to be good. Blessed are the peace... And the stars stood... There are no quests at the moment. I think the poison one's the only one I have left, but I don't think I have any poison inventory to make. Move forward. I don't know the capabilities of making poison at the moment, so we're just gonna go. I do have the capabilities of someone can make poison, but I just don't have the materials. Um, we're gonna head over to here, and hopefully this allows us to travel. Because I don't think I can just like straight up travel. I think I have to like reach a end point of a world or level or like. Um, area and then you can uh, use the world map to travel to where you want I believe that's how that works yes okay perfect um, I want to head to Red Cliff but I don't think that's an option or well, maybe Red Cliff Village You run into opposition? Yes, we did. It is nice playing as Morrigan, honestly, she's so strong. I'll get on it. I'll just shoot something at me. What's this? Oh, 
what do we do from here? Oh, okay. Red Cliff Village, let's go. Yeah, so we're gonna go see the Arl. At least try to. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? So you you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? Heard what? Speak, boy! We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting. Out of the castle? And dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. He's just over there in the Chantry. Please, come. All right. A little bit bigger of a village. I just tathered up. Can I change my party out? I think I need... Alistair. This is a red cliff, right? No. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. You're a rather unusual oh. group, to say the least. Can I ask who you are and why you've come? A Grey Warden? I thought you all died along with my nephew. At least that is what Loghain would have us believe. What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. Oh, thank God. There Someone's on our side. Warden who goes by the name of Alistair. Does he yet live? Yes. He does? Finally, some good news. I should have brought him with me. I didn't think Thank that through. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, I'll switch him out as soon as I can. Problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. I'm asking you, please, help us. Help Eamon. Okay. There are no darkspawn here, and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. Yet helping these humans does nothing of the sort. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Of course. I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. 
We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. I do not know. They seem to be walking. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find e All right. I'm scared, mother. One of the bad men. Let us pray. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are... Allow me to... How awful this must be. All those who cannot... They are terrified of tonight's attack. And I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? It is the sturdiest building in the village. They sh Please, have... Of course. Blessed art thou who ex... Yeah, may as well get a blessing or two. People are here disagreeing with my actions. Trying to save people. Why has the king not come? Good day. Surely soldiers could have I'm so scared, Father. Sorry. What are we going to Am I bothering you? Those those things dragged my mother. How terrible. You pulled And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. You will silence, girl. You want the children to hear you? Is this where humans keep all their wisdom? Your behavior makes you know, we don't have the men we need. And their numbers just keep growing each night. No them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want to surprise Hold on, give me a second. Can I go backwards? Oh, they're building a ship here. Got it. World map is this way. I am led to understand that the Kanari have their own mages as well. Is this so? You would not understand. Not to understand? Is it mental capacity that you believe I lack? Or are you worried I will sympathize with my so-called brethren? Take your pick. <laughs> is that supposed to make me angry? It means I find myself wishing that your people held proper, civilized attitudes. Wait, where the hell did I just end up? Is this the castle? Oh my god, I ended up at the castle. <laughs> I mean, do that. Where are you going? I thought you were going to help us. If you go, I doubt we'll still be here when. Oh, bitch. I need to switch to show Alistair. Fuck, whatever. Well, Alistair would have been the better option to have in here. Probably allow me to have more conversations and better, better options and whatnot. But it is what it is. Whatever. Fuck it. We move. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Ask me whatever you wish. I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he had. Beyond that, you might try the village store. 
It's locked up, but there may be items of use still within. I do not know. Ugh. A fellow named Lloyd runs it. He refused. I suppose he might still have something to sell you. Though I wouldn't encourage dealing with a fool. He was a profiteer and nothing more. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. The okay. knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening. We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Pharrell, eventually, perhaps. The ones I have, I only returned myself because I was passing by Red. Not at all. The great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I, the thought chills my blood. As you wish. Ask me whatever you wish. You know about as much as I do. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange... I Until we get to the source of this evil, though. When the Isle fell... We oh, I didn't mean to do that. To seek it out, as you wish. What is it you need? Ask me whatever you wish. When the Isle fell sick, we knights volunteered... As you wish. Ask me whatever you wish. We knights volunteered... As you wish. Ask me whatever you wish. As you wish. We have sufficient <laughs> armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some hope. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. That gladdens my heart to hear it. No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need. Back in the village, of course, in front of the Chantry. All right, so we can help these guys out by getting them a uh, nice little holy. Oh, I once took a ride on the sails of a windmill. Didn't turn out well. A love letter. How's that? You know, what? I ended up turning something off. Let's turn it back on. Turn it automatic saves back off, just to see if that would make a difference. Hello. Yes, what can I do for you? Oh. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay. Blast. I'll s nice. Can we get you a ladder so you can I get can off my back? Hello. Do you have a skill for this? What? It's done. Not done. Allow me. I could do that for you. Oh, uh, for some reason I can't uh, open that one. Maybe she needs a better skill in. Um, can I open up skills? Open up Liana. She has improved stealing. Do I need better stealing, honestly? Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my scores. Oh. There's nothing left. Hey? You're not Murdoch. Who are you, and what are you doing at my door? Certainly not. I don't know you, and I don't want to. Off you go. 
If you didn't notice, the smithy is closed. The f mm. Yay! Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? A great warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? My girl, Felena, is one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us lived not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn st You were asking a gr I want a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. Oh, lovely. Shall we next be Is this a promise? Let's hope not. No. What's that? I said nothing to- And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the f If you need anything done- I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. You mean, why are these- I told Valena she was imagining things. She thought the Arlesa was having an affair with some tutor she hired for the boy, Connor. I never listen much to her talk about it. It doesn't matter anyway. She's lost to me. Only that she's an Orlesian girl from beyond the Western Mountains. Mm. Far too young for our Arl. That's what I say. And too proud and it I'd never make such accusations. But of course not. And who would I tell? Like what? What's that been? What's that been there, baby? What do you got for me? <clears throat> Ooh, that's two hand. Damn it. Oath Keeper, what the fuck is that? Is there something I have? Where did I get this? Oh, that's some Grey Warden. Ah. Huh. I don't remember when I got this. Ooh. Better shield. I feel like there's like nothing worth buying. Or maybe I'm just um maybe I'm just wrong. Oh, I need more. This is better though. I need twenty-two strength for this. And how many how many do I need for this? Twenty-two strength for this as well. Anything worth in here? I all right. Word off, so you're the mirror. You're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. So you say. A damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. That much is clear. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for... Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. I hope you're right. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. 
Morale's about what you'd expect. These men are... I just hope I'm alive to... The men were short on decent armor and weapons. Stubborn fool was refusing to talk to anyone only this morning. You didn't have anything to do with his change of heart, did you? <laughs> Maybe we'll make it... The damn fool is falling over drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. I'll send <laughs> one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. We'll do our best. We'll fight until we can't... We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out... He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. There's not much time before sundown. Right. Okay. I saw what you were doing back there. Oh. Don't be innocent with me. What are you talking about? You playing with that kitten. There was no kitten. Stan, I saw you. You were dangling a piece of twine for it. I was helping it train. <laughs> you are a big softy. We will never speak of this again. <laughs> softy. Open eventually. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Apology accepted. The name's Dwit. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. <laughs> Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. My boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Sure it does. Here I have my own supplies, my boys for protection, and I live and die on my own terms. Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead, and I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? Are you serious? Then why bring it up? Do you have something else in mind? I've had enough of you strutting around like you own the place. Come on, boys. This ends now. Maybe we can fight him into submission. Okay, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Let's load this uh, save. <laughs> this is why it's saved. Just in case. Just in case. You playing with that kitten? There was no kitten. Stan, I saw you. You were dangling a piece of twine for it. I was helping it train. Just in case, you know, I had a feeling. Safety. We will never speak of this. Wonderful. Intruders. Apology accepted. The name... So what? You're recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around. Maybe. Let's hear what... Are you serious? 
I won't even stick my head out my door for less than a hundred silvers. Do I look like an elf? It's a hundred, or it's no deal. You're getting off easy there. But like you say, I guess this town need. You better be out there too when this. Alright, we got him. Hired him for a hundred silver. Make it work. I don't even know how much money I have. Is there a way to check that? Well, I got 9 gold, 24 silver, 76 bronze. We chillin'. Get off my back. I think 9 gold, I think 1 gold is 100 silver, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what the currency rate how that works in this game. Allow me. I could do that for you. Insufficient skill. Speak. Allow me. I could do that for you. No, you can't, obviously. I think it might be too much, too high of a chest level for her. Oh. Go away. A small human. Ah, what are you doing? Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. I wasn't always in here. I hid when I heard you coming. I was... Well, I shouldn't tell you. It's a secret. No, I won't tell you. Okay. Get on it. Oh, it's a key required. All right, I think we're just about ready to start this battle. Lake Kaland. Um. Go on, Lake. Hey, Lake Kaland, Samuel. There's some guy around here that's uh, a deserter. Gotta look for him. Let's head back to the Chantry first and hand this mission in. Then I'll go talk to the mayor, I guess. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. You... Very sweet. No. I, I suppose there's no harm in it. Oh, okay. How noble. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, I don't care. <laughs> it's too funny. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We- Oh? Ask away? Hmm. If you want weapons and such, speak to Owen. He may not have much in stock yet, though. Uh... Commerce isn't exactly our biggest concern right now, but... A few and then those horrid creatures at- No. I know there's not much time before- is there anything else? Oh? Ask away. There's not much time. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. There's not much time before sundown. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. There's not much time before sundown. Are you sure? 
There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything. I think I've done everything. You. You'll need it. Yeah, I think I've done everything. Here they come. Die, that's not good. Let me show him backwards. Okay, yeah, I died. Um, yeah, that didn't that was not a smart play. Uh I don't know why I went forward. <laughs> Actually, I went backwards and let them come to me. Seems to be good though. How many guys are going to keep coming?
Fire arrows are probably going to do really well against these things, aren't they? fucking dead. These guys gotta do something for me. Dude, there's so many. Why are there so many? Huh. 
Oh, we got some people. And we survived the night. We are victorious. Nice. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Uh. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. <laughs>